on some level, everybody is producing something. Either you're independently producing things like YouTube videos or music or you own your own business or you're part of a business and that company produces something much greater than you. Whenever you're producing something, you have to realize whatever you're producing is eventually going to go out of style. A great example of this is the music industry. You see, the music industry is filled with artists who spend their lives creating songs and albums that eventually go out of style. And when they do, we find them years later sometimes washed up with no money, yet the music industry is still flourishing. They were always just a cog in a system and they enabled that system to even exist in the first place, but they never stopped to take a piece of ownership of it for themselves. And this is how so many people live their lives. They just stay in production and they never decide they're going to take a piece of ownership of that production for themselves. It's not fair. You don't have to be an entrepreneur to do this. Either you can let this inspire you to become one and then create a system of your own or decide that you're going to divest time, effort, and money into different systems across the board so that by the time whatever you're helping produce goes out of style, you're ready. Why did I make that video on ownership? You know, it, it really wasn't about this intense thing to make people go out and go get their piece of ownership. It wasn't that. I know it might seem like that, but it wasn't that. You know, the truth is, is that I think that on this earth, we all long for one thing. And that one thing is meaning. You know, we want our lives and our time here to be spent in a way that feels purposeful. And oftentimes, the meaning that we want is really waiting on our front doorstep, but we're not really taking it. And it's wrapped up in a package called our gift. <laughs> you know, and our gift is usually something we either know, uh, something we don't really know, or something we're afraid to use. And the challenge is that most people just wait idly for their gift to eventually fall into their life, and that's just not how it works. Ownership is hopefully something that's going to inspire people to help use their gift because a lot of us are the result of some type of migration to Canada or the US, whether it was your parents who migrated here, your grandparents or your great grandparents. And in some way they migrated here in search for one thing, which was a better life. They left everything behind. I'm talking about every one of their friends, a lot of their family. They came to a place where likely they didn't even speak the language. They had to give up things like education. It was insane. Imagine doing that. And what we don't often realize, what we don't talk about is that we're the result of that. We're the generation that's the most fucking equipped to use all of those gifts to redirect not only our family history, but the history of humankind for a really long time. And the first place to start is finding a way, not necessarily a way that's gonna make you money, but a way to use your gift. And in time, whether it's through you, through your kids, through your grandkids, I'm thinking long-term, that's gonna to lead to some form of ownership. Ownership isn't a selfish thing. It's about getting more of what we deserve out of life and finding a way to inspire more people to do the same. And when you work on that lineage, when you're working with that kind of tangent, good things happen. You know, you're rubbing against something really, really good and that's all this video is for. And all my efforts in some way are directed toward that. That's what I want my life to be about.